Well, the lacquer's been curing for about four weeks now, so it's time to start sanding it level and then uh, buffing it once it's all sanded. From a distance it looks pretty smooth, but up close you can see there are a lot of pits and imperfections and all of that has to get sanded away in order to get a nice glassy smooth finish. So I've got all of my different sandpapers lined up here starting with 220 grit and going up to a thousand. So I'll, I'll just use progressively finer grits of paper and once it seems like it's sanded pretty smooth then I'll uh, start buffing. That'll be a couple days from now. This is a, a long process. I'll start with 220 grit paper. And this will just take off the, the biggest high spots in the finish. This is mineral spirits that I use to keep the paper from filling up with sand and dust. So this is the whole process, uh, just progressively finer grits of paper. Um, and the, the finer grit takes out the, the scratches left by the previous grit. So you just keep making smaller and smaller scratches until they're so small you can't do much more with them and then it's time to buff. And actually buffing just takes out scratches too. Um, no point in showing the entire process, it's just long and repetitive. I'll do this for a couple hours today until my shoulders give out, then I'll do more of it tomorrow, and uh, as I said, eventually it'll be ready for buffing. I've finished sanding the lacquer up to 1000 grit. I've done the whole guitar other than the string slots. I'll deal with that after the rest of it's looking to be in pretty good shape. So now I'm going to give the guitar its initial buff and that will invariably reveal places that I didn't sand as well as I should. So then I'll go back and sand those places some more, and then buff some more, and sand some more, and buff some more, and after several days of going back and forth, I should be ready to move on.